My name is Josh Wilson. I'm the executive director of Bark Eater Trails Alliance. Uh, we're a nonprofit trail organization. We build, maintain, and advocate for our system of trails for mountain biking and ski touring in the eastern high peaks region of the Adirondacks. The feeling of being in the, the woods here is just, it's a wild place. It's beautiful, protected lands, and uh, it's gonna be like that forever. One of the unique things about the Adirondack Park um, compared to say a national park is that it's a, it's a patchwork of public and private land. The public land is part of the state forest preserve, so it's protected as Forever Wild in the Constitution. For me, Forever Wild, I just think it's, it's so unique, first of all, to be able to live with all of these lands surrounding you. It's, it's not a park that you drive in and out of. You're always in it, it's always around you. It's not always the most popular policy, but the fact is that um, it really does protect and preserve these really special wild places and makes the Adirondacks just a, a totally unique region in the country. There's nothing else like it. I think we're seeing a lot of our communities around the Adirondacks really embrace mountain biking as an opportunity. I'd say, um, it's really grown uh, immensely, you know, a lot of momentum, um, even right from the beginning. Now um, we're up to about 75 miles of single track. There's tons of riding, you know, if you, if you look at the overall package that the Adirondacks, you know, offer, it's a week's worth of really good and varied riding from nasty sort of technical rocky routes and, and junk and, and, and all of that, all the way to perfect, you know, super flowy trails and some downhill stuff. I think as, a, as an area, we've got a pretty nice package. So there's a great network of about half the trail, you know, they're a perfect double track. But zigzagging in between all of the double track up there are all these little single track trails. In Wilmington, we've got trails that are intermediate and fast and flowy. They're not intimidating, and then we've got tight technical stuff, and and features, you know, with drops and things like that. So I think it's got something for everyone. Elizabethtown is a small hamlet closer to the Champlain Valley, uh, but it's kind of in between the mountains and the lake. Really historic, old hamlet. And so a lot of multi-use trails, but some purpose-built single track with just amazing views. And that at Otis Mountain, another one of these sort of small mom and pop ski hills that's been transformed into a mountain bike system with probably some of the more rugged riding of all the networks. Lake Placid has tons of fantastic trails that are in the forest. It's really dense forest and awesome. And then we've got Pisgah that's in Saranac Lake. Yeah, I mean, there's unlimited riding really when you think about it. It's always been about people that are involved in the trails, that are riding the trails and using them every day, pushing the ball forward. There really is a community here, so on a work day, that feeling of camaraderie when everyone's there, and I mean, no one's getting paid. Everyone, you know, gets up at, you know, six o'clock in the morning and has breakfast and is out there for super hard work on the trails. And uh, no, it's, it's, it's awesome. I mean, that, that feeling of community and everyone working for the same goal is, fantastic. I think that for every small town that you've got uh, periods of boom and bust and uh, it really feels like we're on the edge of something great and I mean I'm, I'm being sincere when I say that that just every year it's it's amazing what's happened I mean in the center of town the businesses are opening up and it just it just feels like we're on the beginning you know two years in to the next greatest 30 years it's actually, I think, amazing. Not my heart. Hey. You are the harbor, my shelter from the storm. i
far.